Have you ever heard of a man named Val Thor, an alleged extraterrestrial residing on Earth? Our tale begins in the mid-20th century during a time of Cold War tension and flying saucer mania. The world was ripe for a story like this, a story that transcends our earthly boundaries and ventures into the realm of the unknown, the extraterrestrial. This is the story of Val Thor, a supposed visitor from Venus, who claimed to have lived among us on Earth. Val Thor is not your typical extraterrestrial character from a 1950s sci-fi flick. He wasn't here to conquer, destroy, or instigate intergalactic war. Instead, he was here to communicate, to observe, and supposedly to help humanity. The world first heard about Val Thor through the writings of Dr. Frank Stranges. An evangelist, with a deep interest in UFO phenomena, Stranges met Val Thor in 1959, and subsequently wrote a book about him. The book, titled Stranger at the Pentagon, introduced the world to this mysterious figure, an alleged Venusian with an intriguing story. According to Stranges, Val Thor arrived on Earth in a spaceship landing in Alexandria, Virginia in late March 1957. He was described as human-like, with a few subtle differences, a longer lifespan, and an ability to communicate through telepathy. Stranges' book was met with skepticism, fascination, and everything in between. Some saw it as a work of fiction, while others believed it to be a genuine account of an extraterrestrial visitation. The story of Val Thor sparked debates, incited curiosity, and left a lasting impression on UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike. But the question remains, who was Val Thor, really? Was he a visitor from Venus, living among us, observing and learning from our species? Was he just a man, caught up in the fervor of the UFO craze? Or was he simply a myth, a creation of a time when the world was looking to the skies with hope, fear, and wonder? But who was Val Thor, really? An alien, a man, or perhaps a myth? According to the narrative, Val Thor arrived on Earth in 1957. Now, that's a year that might not ring any bells for most, but for a select few, it resonates with the echo of an extraordinary claim. It's said that Val Thor's journey started not on Earth, but on Venus, our neighboring planet. A planet shrouded in mystery and clouds of sulfuric acid. A place inhospitable to life as we know it. Yet Val Thor was no ordinary being. He was a Venusian, an extraterrestrial, who embarked on an intergalactic voyage that led him to our very own blue planet. His spacecraft, described as a Victor-class saucer, touched down in a quiet town in Virginia. This wasn't your typical little green men scenario. No, Val Thor was more humanoid, standing six feet tall with brown hair and piercing blue eyes. He wasn't here to conquer but to communicate, and his first interaction was with the local law enforcement, who were understandably baffled by his alien presence. What followed was a series of extraordinary events that would make any skeptic raise an eyebrow. Val Thor allegedly met with none other than the President of the United States, Dwight D. Eisenhower. A meeting of such magnitude one can only speculate the topics discussed, but it wasn't just the president involved. The Pentagon, the hub of America's defense, also played a role in this alien tale. Reports suggest that Val Thor was escorted to the Pentagon, where he was given VIP status, an honor typically reserved for the highest of dignitaries. It's as if the powers that be were fully aware of his otherworldly origins, accepting him not as a threat, but as a visitor from the stars. The story of Val Thor's arrival on Earth, as outlandish as it may seem, was just the beginning. And like any good beginning, it sets the stage for an even more intriguing tale. A tale that questions our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. Val Thor, the Venusian visitor, reportedly came bearing a message of peace. A message not just for a small group, a single nation, or even one planet, but for the whole of mankind. As the story goes, Val Thor was not just an alien visitor, he was an ambassador of interstellar goodwill, a harbinger of universal harmony. Val Thor's mission, as he allegedly proclaimed, was to promote peace and the betterment of mankind. He spoke of the potential for humanity to overcome its divisions, to unite in common purpose, and to solve the problems that plagued our world. From war and poverty to environmental degradation and beyond, he offered solutions that were both profound and perplexing. His understanding of our world's challenges was said to be so deep and nuanced that it seemed to surpass our own. His solutions, while seemingly outlandish, were claimed to be rooted in advanced technologies and enlightened philosophies far beyond our current understanding. He spoke of harnessing energy in new ways, of healing the Earth's wounds, 
of sharing resources equitably, and of fostering a global consciousness that transcended borders and biases. Yet it was not just his message that intrigued us, but the messenger as well. Val Thor, according to the tales, possessed remarkable abilities. He claimed to live without the need for food or water, surviving on a form of energy unknown to us. His lifespan too was said to be extraordinarily long, with centuries passing like mere decades. This alien visitor, who reportedly came from the planet Venus, brought us a vision of a future where mankind could rise above its current struggles, where peace and prosperity were not just possible, but attainable. He urged us to strive for this future, to work together, and to embrace the values of compassion, cooperation, and shared responsibility. Val Thor's message, whether from a Venusian or an imaginative storyteller, was one of peace and unity. It is a message that resonates, that challenges us to look beyond our differences and to imagine a world where we can all thrive together. Whether the messenger was truly alien or not, the message itself is undeniably human. After three years on Earth, Val Thor supposedly returned to Venus. This marks the end of an extraordinary chapter in the annals of alleged extraterrestrial encounters. It was the year 1960 when Val Thor, the supposed Venusian diplomat, embarked on his journey back to the second planet from the Sun. His departure from our blue planet was as enigmatic as his arrival. There were no grand farewells, no press conferences, and certainly no spaceship sightings reported. Val Thor seemingly vanished leaving behind a trail of mystery and intrigue. Some claim that he simply disappeared overnight, while others suggest a more secretive, covert departure, much like his arrival. The story of Val Thor, however, is not without its detractors. Skepticism surrounds his existence, with critics pointing out the lack of substantial evidence. Despite numerous accounts and testimonials, there are no photographs, no physical evidence, nothing concrete to corroborate his presence among us. This absence of proof has led many to dismiss the Val Thor tale as nothing more than a fanciful yarn spun by those with an overactive imagination. Yet, despite the controversy and the skepticism, the tale of Val Thor continues to captivate. It's a story that has endured over six decades, transcending generations. Why, you ask? Perhaps it's the allure of the unknown, the eternal human curiosity about life beyond our planet. Or maybe it's the underlying message of peace that Val Thor allegedly brought, a message that resonates with us even today. Whatever the reason, Val Thor's story continues to spark interest and ignite debates. It's a narrative that compels us to look up at the stars and wonder, to question our place in the vast cosmic theater. It's a tale that, despite its incredulity, invites us to dream and to imagine. And so, the tale of Val Thor ended as mysteriously as it began, leaving us with more questions than answers. But isn't that the nature? of all great mysteries. They keep us wondering, searching, and in the process, they keep us alive with curiosity and hope. Val Thor's story, whether fact or fiction, raises an age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? This question has haunted humanity for centuries. From ancient civilizations who looked up at the stars in wonder, to modern scientists who send probes to the farthest reaches of our solar system, we've always been fascinated by what lies beyond our world. Throughout history, there have been numerous reports of unexplained phenomena and sightings. Bright lights darting across the night sky, strange shapes hovering in broad daylight, and even alleged encounters with extraterrestrial beings. Each of these instances, though often dismissed or explained away, stokes the embers of our curiosity. But it's not just about the unknown and the unexplained. Our search for extraterrestrial life is grounded in science. We have scientists who dedicate their lives to studying the cosmos, searching for planets that could potentially support life. They examine distant galaxies, investigate meteorites for signs of organic compounds, and analyze data from telescopes that peer deep into the universe. This search extends to our neighboring planets as well. Mars, for instance, has been the subject of numerous missions, with rovers trudging its dusty terrain, drilling into its surface, seeking evidence of past or present life. Even the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, once thought inhospitable, are now considered potential homes for alien life. The story of Val Thor, the alleged visitor from Venus, whether true or not, is just a small part of this larger narrative. It symbolizes our collective fascination with the possibility of life beyond Earth. It stirs our imagination, makes us question our place in the cosmos, and challenges us to keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. 
Whether or not Val Thor was a real visitor from Venus, his story reminds us that the possibility of extraterrestrial life continues to captivate us. The universe is vast, and perhaps we are not alone. 